Welcome back everyone and welcome to my channel. Good to talk to you once again and today I'm thinking to share with you this replay of many many reasons. This is the light in the tier 8 uh, <laughs> Royal Navy destroyer. Is it good? Yeah, you will definitely see the strength and the weakness. The biggest strength is of course the best concealment in this game. Uh, I do believe it out uh, spot everyone and everything and it has pretty damn decent guns. But you're not a pure torpedo boat, you're not a gunboat either. And your AA is an issue, you're not a Akizuki. This ladies and gentlemen, it's estuary and we are all tier 8 ships. Remember, this is not a underdog uh, or uh, you know uh, top of top dog uh, replace this is all about you trying to do your very best Lexiton it's over here once again you do some kind of damage Lexiton played extremely well and I would like to say that even though I don't consider the enemy Lexiton did crazy good job uh, I I honestly believe our CV the implacable kind of uh, played bad and you're definitely gonna see now something else and it's this video it's all about the some very strong ships versus destroyer like you know carriers uh, radar cruises like uh, Cleveland but also this map it, it, it's a big map you shine in your lightning open water how's that Nobody, and I'm saying nobody can outspot you. Maybe Kagero, but Kagero can outspot you by 100 meters. 5.4 Kagero, you have 5.5. And dealing with a Kagero, mm, yeah, you will uh, win 9 of 10. Seriously, you will outgun a Kagero, no problem whatsoever. Uh, however, you're not a pure Akizuki gun boat, uh, you know, a lot of HP pool, the HP pool is 15,900. But I do like how maneuverable and pretty damn hard hitting torpedo, kind of a short only 8 kilometers. However, guys, in estuary, I mean, thinking, man, where to, to be, where to go, where to go, there isn't any sign of the uh, Cleveland yet. However, the biggest concern is the Akizuki. J.E. Marker, the tier 8th, and Cossack. Uh, those three most likely are somewhere, and I can definitely see the Cossack on the mini map, so they are all three on the other side, not on my side. Uh, which is actually very bad news for my team, because that uh, side, I'm talking about the east side, will collapse. There's three freaking division destroyer power full as all hell and um, I don't know if it's a good or bad that, that the truth is we have no destroyer over there our left round set just look at where the hell he is he's uh, on a corner for for crying out loud he's not even the near postcode me with Akizuki which he received a huge torpedo hit for something someone torpedoed this Akizuki and I don't know if it's the carrier it must be the Benson or the Carrier. Very unlucky, guys, seriously. Um, let's see what we're gonna have here. That's the Akizuki for you. I, ha I have no idea why I cannot... There you have it. Okay. So over here, the reason Akizuki put those torpedoes is there is someone behind that corner. And, of course, you have pretty decent torpedo power. They reload kind of a bad, one, 1 minute and 30 seconds, it's not short cooldown. However, you do have um, in damage and uh, torpedo potential pretty high, pretty high damage output. Your smoke is weird, very short uh, smoke, but you have one tools and that it's crazy good maneuverable and hydro. To torpedo... Um, uh, Royal Navy destroyer uh, won't happen seriously guys you're too damn maneuverable and you have too short of your smoke which you're never gonna stay in your damn smoke just a couple more seconds yes you do have a lot of charges and stuff like that 
but that's the strength about this destroyer not in AA department and not probably pure one versus one in uh, destroyer versus destroyer uh, the strength is this combination in that you have smoke on them on but also uh, you know this hydro which short uh, hydro but less very long time um, Lefantes finally uh, come back our uh, implacable will stay there I don't think that he will ever gonna move I'm not doing a whole lot the problem is this if you pay attention to this corner there is um, uh, guys okay Benson is showing up let's see what if we can aim okay Akizuki killed our Ben uh, no seriously our our and Cleveland killed our Akizuki yeah that was a kill Cleveland behind this stupid rock on this left side over there there is the Cleveland played extremely smart behind a stupid island and use his DPM to but I'm not a little bit concerned about his radar yes I am but I'm kiting a little bit away I'm doing some daka daka due to this hipper so so far guys crazy few damage and that was a very good four pen for 2000 something damage so if you hit and one more fire which is good 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 not a whole lot of damage and very unfortunately that that Cleveland and Roma stayed behind full HP by the way and that it's an issue on this paper we are in the lead because we only lost, uh, lost one destroyer and one um, battleship and the enemy team they lost two, two destroyers and uh, two, um, uh, two battleships yes however however guys I've hard to come across this corner because Cleveland and maybe Roma and maybe Bismarck and their KFK is also over there, so I will be spotted. Now the constellation did a crazy good job. As a matter of fact, he's the one I complimented. There he will be on the uh, best by XP. Okay, I got Hydro. Who the hell uh, Hydro? Me must be the the damn hipper or someone. I cannot see him, but he see me definitely. So I play kind of poorly here because I will receive a huge damn hit all over the place. Bismarck, oh, you know, I lost all close to half of my HP pool and I'm at 5.3. And you cannot torpedo a um, Hydro Cruiser because he has Hydro, he can easily uh, disengage. I'm trying to go away from him and I'm trying right now to you know engage him 800 something damage the shells are kind of a floaty you know what I mean so you really need to give a lot of lead see six not pen very unfortunately but Cleveland took him down so that was a good trade in this replay you can say oh this is gonna be an easy win uh, hold your horses I'm just gonna say that this is standard battle. I am trying seriously, guy, very soon to spot. So right now my plan is simple. To because there's no more cruiser over here. I my plan is actually to delete that Bismarck. And it's not gonna be an easy thing. Remember, Bismarck, as the German cruiser, has the best hydro in this game. And who I'm gonna spot? I'm gonna spot something on this side. Very well, the left from say is trying to b our carry probably did not move an uh, inch yet um, now the bismarck is disengaging who's that guess very healthy matter of fact i don't know if i received a whole lot of damage so far but probably he's the one who's also aiming was aiming at me uh, but once again guys my plan is not open up because i will not kill him with my guns my plan is literally to torpedo him I'll definitely show you the weakness and the strength the the, the, the torpedo are not that damn fast and there's limitation with the range when someone's kiting away from you um, even if you are let's say I'm very soon in my uh, torpedo range I have right now eight kilometers torps however I do not have a speed boost and the Bismarck is not a slow battleship 
something else if i even if i'm flying right now at 7.9 the torpedo will never gonna hit i need to come close to i don't know 6.1 or close to 6.0 in torpedo uh, range i'm talking about uh, detection or from me and to his ship around six kilometers so down close i'm almost need to come with his hydro range for crying out loud when someone is disengaging sailing away from you then even though i have a pretty damn good uh, torpedo range of eight kilometers i need to come this close you see 6.1 6, 6.1, 6.0. Detection, it's, oh, he's slowing down. The problem is I saw that. So I slowed down at 6.0 and now I will disengage. I'm very close to him. I have no idea if he has Hydra or not. My uh, Cleveland and Constellation kind of a struggle to aim and do significant damage. You see that was not even at the same postcode and I lighting him up for my team. He received something but man not a whole lot. He is moving very very close which is bad for me because my torpedo will miss beside one. So 11,000 and one uh, what do you call it? If I would spot more probably I would definitely use only one torpedo uh, uh, launcher but I use both of them and there's 44 more seconds left he used his damage count because you know he thinks he knows that there is a destroyer nearby and of course the other flank kind of a collapse um, I have no idea what the hell happened with my my team why they they literally the, the, the enemy are pushing in the middle what I can see right now the left hand test, he did pretty decent job to, you know, stay on this corner because the, he's the only one. And um, we are, uh, shall I say, in a good or bad spot. He's still 5.9, 5.9 Bismarck. Right now I'm creating a big war, wall. At 5.8, I would definitely think that he was disengaging or sailing away, it should cut him. Um, if he does not, you know, turn really hard left or right. Once again, sometimes you don't just go where the green lights are. You are trying to do a little bit uh, half left, half right. In this way, yes, you're not going to hit a lot of torpedoes, but you create a much, much, much bigger, wider wall. You see this wall I create, it's pretty damn big. And this is pretty hard hitting torpedoes. You do not need to land all, you know, eight of them to kill a battleship. And four torpedo. And he, you can you left and right next game because now you're in the port. But guys, I killed one. Akizuki killed our uh, Richelieu battleship. So... <laughs> not much for uh, help and right now of course guys i i'm not uh, the fastest i'm kind of a pretty damn slow destroyer that's the biggest weakness of this uh, destroyer line it's kind of a, they are kind of a slow and left hand test he is throwing poor devil uh, facing cossack and enemy carrier and the division akizuki so he will go down but uh, he actually played really really well yeah, who, who did I get? Cossack killed him. And he was not alone. He was the, the freaking Bismarck and Akizuki and the carrier. So all three enemy ships was focus him down. So oh, this is bad, guys. This is 432 versus 492 on this side. Um, the enemy team have none. Uh, even though we had a lot of uh, support this uh, this side, this western side. But that is just me. I'm lighting the... Uh, Lexton, I don't know if you pay attention earlier, I, w I did spot the enemy Lexington, but no one managed to do any significant damage to this Lexington, or the aim, or uh, I don't know what the hell it was wrong, was kind of a poor, it's a very large damn ship, you shouldn't have any problem whatsoever to kill a carrier, if you know how to aim, of course. Uh, 
So guys, literally, uh, it's just Odin left together with me, Carrier and uh, Constellation, which is my Constellation is kind of a awkward position. Cleveland, it's also kiting away. What I did right now, I was kind of slow. I wanted to um, Cleveland to leave this cap. He does not know where the hell I am. Overall, I do believe that what I blame this game, it's definitely very poor aiming. You see the Constellation is trying to do some damage to this Lexitum. I don't know if he received this Lexitum 1000, 2000 damage so far from that salvo. So crazy bad salvo from the Constellation. Um, you as a battleship and you're probably the only battleship left, which is right now because um, Roma killed our Odin. And uh, no, Akizuki and Carrier, they have a free passage. It's just friendly Carrier versus four or five enemy ships, even the Lexiton. I'm lighting up for the damn Lexiton and I'm trying right now to do some kind of a damage. I give my position away. It was very frustration. I, I knew that now there is no way in hell that we're gonna win. Even though this is kind of a bad the Cleveland count can come back very slow shells five non pen I do not have range yeah I do consider myself a bad aimer as well you cannot kill a carrier with a um, with the uh, fire and once again I have no real done good salvos or good AA see how many non pen bullshit this is the the downside with this um, really bad HE performance I have no idea where the hell shall I go and um, I, I tried I fell horrible now Cleveland at 10 point something he is in very soon in um, radar's range I am literally right now versus Roma, Cossack and Lexington and Cleveland. There's four ships aiming at me. Uh, so I will go down, right? Come on guys, there's four ships versus one. It shouldn't be hard, right? To kill a poor destroyer with 6000 HP pool. You know, Cleveland only he needs to do is land one salvo and Roma is very healthy, he has 40. 3,000 HP pool left. Um, well, he doesn't. <laughs> he hit five of my torpedo. And I managed to dodge the incoming um, shells from Cleveland. And Roma is on fire. And my smoke is up. I'm still detected. And I kill a close to 43,000 HP pool of Roma. But I'm very low HP as well. So, pretty damn good uh, news. Constellation killed the Akizuki and I killed the 43,000 HP pool Roma. Cleveland is coming and uh, the Lexton, you know. I'm trying to delay. We still have a point. It's 54 more seconds and we are so much led thanks to my kill and thanks to my survivor. And I'm still staying in the uh, cap. And if we just pass freaking 40 seconds we will win even though it should be impossible to win versus four ships remember cleveland was aiming at me cossack was aiming at me lexington was aiming at me and very bad that salvo it's the difference between win or lose if the cleveland should go down by that salvo we definitely would nail it 10 more seconds left can we win all we need to do let uh, guys it's just to survive Cossack it's pushing just two more seconds and before the two more seconds Lexington killed our constellation in the last freaking two seconds left or less than and we lost so this is how damn close it was I was trying I really was trying guys to do my very best but sometimes trying to do your very best and come on the top 
and be engaged by four enemy ships at the same time, it's not enough. It's not enough, guys. So guys, thanks guys for watching and all is Captain's Fierces and goodbye.